What's up, guys? So, I got a package in the mail the other day from Raw Rock. It doesn't look like a restraining order, and I don't think it looks explosive. So I thought it'd be fun to open it up on camera. Worst case scenario, I have you guys as witnesses if it does blow up. <laughs> this is Bikes, Beards, and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And uh, let's just dive right into this one. So I got this uh, package from Rorock. And I want to open it with you guys. Before I do that though, I do want to have my usual disclaimer, uh, which is I have not purchased anything from Rorock, period. A full stop, I haven't bought anything from Rorock. Um, there are no promises made from Rorock when they sent me whatever's in this package. So no promises made to them, no promises required, nothing required, there are no agreements, nothing. This is just Rorock uh, being cool, sending me some stuff. Uh, I honestly didn't even know they were sending me this until I happened to look into my email and saw DHL was on the way. So really, um, I tried not to read the email, so it is a surprise what's inside this. I want to uh, open that and like, you know, kind of kind of do this with you guys uh, to give you a little bit of history on this. Aside from the videos I've made where I usually associate Raw Rock with butt plugs and other jokes like that, that they seem to tolerate for some reason, uh, which is very cool of them. Uh, I do tend to chat with um, Archie. Not that Archie. Archie. Not that Archie. Not that Archie either. I do tend to chat with Archie <laughs> from time to time on uh, on the gram. He's a cool guy. We get along well. We you know we just joke back and forth. There's really no business conversation going on there. It's just you know two guys talking about guy things, whatever. So um, that that's really my. Ex the extent of my relationship with Raw Rock. So no endorsements, no promises, nothing purchased, no contracts. And I just thought it'd be fun to open this with you guys. So let's get into this. Well, actually look, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Blue Bike and Doyle. I'll pop his channel up there somewhere. Uh, he tends to open his stuff with a Bowie knife and not to be outdone by him, uh, we're gonna use a damn sword on this thing. Yeah. You go all like katana, man. So, let's check this out. Yeah, come at me, Doyle. <laughs> Probably should have sharpened this thing. So years ago, I used to work at uh, an IT company that would go on site and uh, work on people's stuff. And there used to be this recycling plant that I used to go to, and they had this katana in their bathroom. I don't know why. <laughs> and, uh, I'd always ask the owner to let me just have the katana. And he's like, no. And seriously, this thing's cool, man. It's got like throwing stars and stuff on it. Like seriously, look at that. Yeah, there's like, there's two of these. Yeah. No, don't break into my house. <laughs> So I kept asking him for this thing and he kept saying no. And then one day he was having some personal issues with his personal phone, not his business phone. I helped him with no stipulations. I was just, you know, being a nice dude. And uh, he's like, you know what? You know that katana you want? You go ahead and you take that katana. So I now own a katana. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. We some straps, let's toss that. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is uh, actual Raw Rock bags. It's black on black. You see the little Raw Rock lettering in there. Let's check out the first one. It is a premium helmet bag. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Um, because I do not own a Raw Rock, uh, my HJC i90 will be going in here. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> but 
Yeah, this is, uh, this is a fun little bag. It's like a bowling bag, man. Let's check this out. Yeah, it's got some extra straps and stuff. It's all nice and soft on the inside. Definitely, uh, definitely plush to keep your helmet from getting all scratched up. That's pretty cool. A little extra bag here to, uh, I don't know, keep your, uh, your, your medication. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for a rock. That's cool. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff in here. All right, we've got engine hawk stickers. Also, I do not own an engine hawk <laughs> jacket, but yeah, engine hawk stickers, row rock stickers. Excellent. A gold row rock bottle opener. A gold raw rock lanyard. Hey, you guys just pimped me right out. That's cool. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, hold on. We'll even pop this on. I don't have glasses on today. There's a little baklava, or whatever the hell it's called. It's probably not baklava. I think that's food. But yeah, a little face guard there. These are awesome because um, I ride in the cold. I'm in New England. It's winter 10 months out of the year. If you're not riding in the cold, you're not riding. So these are actually oh, great to have. This one's pretty comfy, man. Hooks on the ears, right around the nose. It's got a little draw strap in the back. Got a little neck guard, or as I'd like to call it, a beard guard. <laughs> oh yeah, the Mohawk's coming back. I know some of you were sad that I shaved it off for uh, the tail of the dragon trip, but I'm working on it, guys. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Something with a raw rock. Oh, we've got the raw rock t-shirt. Boom. Yeah. Feels pretty nice. Nice, nice material. Nice. I'm digging it. That there. Yeah, whatever the team hoodie. All right. So yeah, we are Team Row Rock. <laughs> That's a pretty, uh, pretty heavy duty hoodie. That's pretty nice. There you go. I got the material inside. Let's check that out. Oh, that is definitely uh, so it's uh, it's definitely um, a little, little firmer on the outside, but inside that is that is plush and that is soft. That is uh, quite nice, man. Uh, I am a big fan of hoodies because, well, again, I live in New England. It's winter 10 months out of the year. So, yeah, that'll come in handy. <laughs> so there we go. That is uh, my Roll Rock package. Uh, Archie and the gang. The other Archie and the gang. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, much appreciated. I will uh, I'll definitely have some fun with this stuff and uh, it was a nice little surprise to have this coming uh, via DHL. You guys are definitely cool and uh, thank you for always putting up with my nonsense and all my goofy stuff and for those of you who again are not, I don't know, maybe you're not entirely convinced that I'm not on Rorock's payroll or something. Again, I, I do not own a Royal Rock helmet. I do not own an Engine Hawk uh, jacket. And let's be honest, if um, I was being endorsed by Royal Rock, they'd probably tell me I can't say butt plugs anymore. But here we are talking about butt plugs again. <laughs> and um, Royal Rock, uh, if the Atlas IV comes out and you finally do away with the butt plugs, uh, I'd be more than inter interested to check out your helmet, especially, look, do it in mercury red, and then we'll definitely have a conversation. So, Atlas IV, mercury red, no butt plugs. We'll have a conversation. For the rest of you guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this with friends, share it with family, share it with mofos that want to come at me with my katana. They love this stuff. Trust me, and I'll see you all on the flip side.